Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so today is, you guessed it, a bloom video day. So um, I've been doing, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of blooms um, on my off time, you know, spare time, and I've been playing a lot with them. Uh, if you saw my last video, I showed you guys a few of them. Um, and I'm having a lot of fun doing them and I haven't been recording them and then I've been getting a lot of comments of, for people asking, oh, did you do a video on that? Did you do a video? So today I'm going to play with some blooms and I figured I would record it for you guys to see. Now, <clears throat> um, if you want to know about the TLPs, which are the TLP pigments, okay? Uh, all that stuff, this um, stuff you need to mix the colors, how to make them, how to mix the powders and make the colors, all of that, um, not just the TLPs, but using Amsterdam paints, um, golden paints, Atelier, I got these the other day, you may have seen my unboxing video on Instagram, um, I've mixed some of this and made some paints, all that information is in video number 504. I will link it up here at the top. It is an in-depth tutorial on how I get my paints ready, uh, my pigments, my paints, my cell activator, all of that. Everything is in that video. So I'm not gonna go over any of that in this video because it's all in video number 504, okay? So go and check out that video if you want to learn how to mix your paints, how to mix your piggies, how to mix your cell activator and all of that. Today's video is just going to be me having some fun, showing you guys how to bloom, um, giving you some tips and tricks that I've learned in the last couple of weeks. <clears throat> um, geez, I need water. <laughs> Anywho, um, so yes, I have here a uh, spinner, okay? A spinner is a must. Um, you definitely need to have a spinner. It doesn't have to be as fancy and as expensive as this one. This one is off Amazon. I will put it in my Amazon shop. <coughs> Excuse me. I will put it in my Amazon shop for those of you who are interested. Um, you can get a cheaper one. You can get one of those Wilton ones from Michael's or whatever you find. But I really like this one because listen, it's super smooth, super quiet. Um, I really like it. So um, it was about 50 bucks Canadian on the Canadian Amazon shop. Um, and what I was doing was I was covering it with plastic, but now I have this mat from Fluid Art Co, which is like the perfect size. Um, so you can get this off the Fluid Art Co website. All right, so I'm going to start now when if you're trying blooms for the first time, you want to start small. When I mean small, I mean a coaster. Get yourself some coasters. I always tape the back of my coasters because the mess that happens underneath when you're picking it up, you're touching it, dirty hands, the back's going to be a mess. Uh, yeah, you're going to end up covering it with a um, um, cork backing, but when it's covered with a bunch of paint and it's goofy on the back, that cork backing may not stick properly to that tile if you've got chunks of paint stuck to the bottom of it. Not to mention, when you resin your tile coasters, you're going to have to tape the back anyway because then you're going to end up with resin drips that you're going to either have to like scrape off with a knife and all that stuff that's not fun. So just do yourself a favor and tape the back of your coasters and then that way they'll be spanking clean when you're done. And then when you resin them, all you got to do is just peel the tape off and the resin drips come off with it. So again, but you can do whatever you want, but this is what I choose to do. <clears throat> so I'm going to be pouring on some coasters. And the reason why I like coasters is because if you're trying a new color palette and you don't know how it's going to work out and how it's going to look, at least if you try it on a small little coaster, if you don't like it, you can scrape it and try it again. If you do it something on like a big, like 10 inch round like this, that's a lot of paint you're wasting if you don't end up liking the color palette. So I always practice color ideas on coasters. And if I like it, then I will move and do it on a bigger piece because then I know the colors look good. So let me tell you a few other things real quick. These are my wood rounds that I was selling. Those are the hardboard rounds that I was selling. Um, I am getting some, okay? And when I say some, 
I mean some, eight inch and six inch. They should be coming in a few weeks. Some of them are already spoken for. Um, once I get them, I will put them up for sale. I'll let you guys know when I get them. But when I tell you, it's a very, very, very limited quantity, okay, right now. So if the demand is high enough, I will do another order. But right now, it's very hectic for my supplier because Christmas is around the corner and she's busy doing her own thing. So just wanted to keep telling you guys that. So I've obviously taped the entire back. Now, what I've gone ahead and done is you can gesso them. You should gesso them. Like if you're doing a Dutch pour on these, it's fine because Dutch pour paint is super thin and it's not that bad. But with the bloom technique, because there's so much paint and the paint is so thick, you do risk warping the board. So you could either put a couple of coats of gesso on them. Um, but I have actually found that just throwing a layer of clear resin on it um, is so much better. Now, I know some of you don't work with resin or don't like using resin. That's fine. You can just add gesso. It's fine. Um, but I would do three to four coats just to be sure. But if you do have resin and all you have to do is just put a clear layer or white or black, as you can see, I did black on this one. So this is a 10 inch. Is this 10? Yes, this is a 10 inch. And I just poured a clear black layer of resin. I was, I was doing some other resin work. I had extra resin left over. So I just literally poured it on top of here. And this will never warp now. It will not warp at all. So um, I, if it's easier, I just put a whole bunch on the table and I resin them all at once so that when I do want to bloom, I am done and ready to go. And these are ready to go. So I've got that. Um, there's also the Loli Veffi rounds. You can get these from the Loli Veffi website. I have taped the back. There is, you know how there's a hole in the back of those. You can see that there. You can see that. See in here. So um, I do resin these as well. I haven't done this one yet, but I do resin these ones as well, just to be safe. Last thing you wanna do is make a beautiful bloom, beautiful cells, beautiful colors, and then your board warps on you, okay? So again, you can gesso them, but if you want 100% to be sure it's not gonna warp on you, then I would just throw a layer of resin on it. So this one's ready to go. It's got the tape on the back, but I do need to add resin on it. And then the last one I wanna show you, this is a square panel. Um, and this one is actually from, from Arteza. So you can find these on the Arteza website. Um, I resined the top. I did not resin the sides cause I'm gonna paint and then it's gonna go along. I'm probably gonna use this one in today's video. So the paint will go down along the sides, um, but the back is all taped up because you, when you're picking it up and handling it with your dirty hands, you don't want to get the back all messy, right? So this one is from Arteza. And don't forget on the Arteza website, you can save 10% off using code Canela10. And then the Loli Veffi rounds, if you want to get the rounds from Loli Veffi, you can save 10% off using code Canela10 for the Loli Veffi rounds. All right. Um, I'm also going to try swiping today. I tried the swipe in my last bloom video, but I only had the teeny tiny palette knife. Um, so now I have these really big palette knives from Fluid Art Co. So there's all kinds of different shapes and sizes. Um, so I'm going to try and swipe on this big round here. And I'm going to use um, probably one of these. But these are super huge and I like that. And I've never swiped with anything this big before. So you're gonna, I'm going to learn today while recording with you guys. So you can get those on the Fluid Art Co. website, okay? All right, so I'm gonna get started. I'm going to work on a tile and I've got my colors. I've kind of preset my colors here so I don't take up too much time trying to figure out what colors I wanna do. Um, and I'm going to do a tile and now my base is going to be color to go. This is from Sherwin Williams and this color is called Majestic Purple. Um, this is a new color I just got the other day. Um, so we will see look how pretty that is. And of course it does dry darker, so keep that in mind, all right? So I've got a little scooper measuring cup from the dollar store because I don't like pouring out 
Um, I had a ladle, but that's my ladle for my actual kitchen. And I got, when I was cooking, I needed my, my ladle and I couldn't find it. So um, I'm going to pour a puddle just on my tile like so, okay? And then I'm gonna show you what I did because I forgot my cups. I take like a stack of cups like this and I literally just do that. And then, well, I did that with my ladle. I can't really do that with this right now. Oh, there we go, there. So then it's not dripping anywhere on the table because I don't like a mess. Yes, I know. And the bloom is like the messiest thing ever, but it is what it is. All right. So I'm using here Dioxazine Purple by Atelier, and that is the um, free flow bottle. Okay. Now I got these again from the Fluid Art Co. website. They are now selling um, Amsterdam paints and all kinds of stuff. So you can find this paint there. So I'm going to put my dioxazine purple. Okay. And then I've got horizon and this is a TLP pigment, super shimmery. So let's do some horizon. And as you can see, I'm just doing some circles. Okay. I'm not loading it up here. And then the next color I have is permanent, permanent red violet by Amsterdam. So the key is, um, you know, to use an Amsterdam or a Golden and then some TLPs. But I have done some pieces that were all just TLP. So it's it's just kind of trial and error. This one's called Harvest Gold. This one is so pretty. This one's also TLP. So we've got some Harvest Gold. All right. And then topping it off, we have Submarine, this really bright yellow, Submarine by TLP. All right. Okay. Oh, I can't believe I'm getting my nice new mat dirty. Ah! Okay, so what, I, what you wanna do is I'm just, I take my finger and I spread the base around so that the whole tile is covered. Now, of course, I want to bring this back to the center a bit. So I'm just going to tilt it like this. And I'm going to use my oxide black cell activator. Okay. And I'm just going to put it here in the middle, a blob of it. And then what you want to do is you want to blow sideways, sideways like this, not on top of it. You want to skim the cell activator over the colors. And then I spin this as I go. Okay. Now, if you can't blow with your mouth and then you got to give this time to like kind of sell up. So I'll talk while that's happening. If you cannot blow with your mouth, you can use a straw, which I don't prefer. Um, you could also use your world's smallest blower, okay? And if you are wondering about this attachment, it is a 3D attachment that was made um, by Tracy Redesigns, okay? She is on YouTube, Tracy Redesigns. Um, she has an Etsy shop where she sells attachments um, for these little blowers. So you can use this, it plugs in with a USB, okay? Um, and I plug it into here, my USB, cause I've got them all around my table, okay? And you can use that. I don't find it to be very powerful though. So, but again, if you can't use your lungs, then using that is fine. Um, one thing I forgot is my straw. Let me find a straw. Oh, I hope I have a straw. Okay, I don't have a straw. I had one. Anywho, um, so what I like to do, I'll have to go and get one. In this case, I don't need it. So do you see how the black cell activator, there's lots of cells there in the center. If you ended up with a blob of black in the center, what I do is I take my straw and I'll literally just give a puff like a like that 
into any parts, any blobs of black that are in there, okay? And that'll help maybe give you a few more cells. But I'm really liking this, so I'm going to spin it. Now, you have to spin it because you got to level out all this paint, okay? If you leave all that paint on top of your tile or your round or whatever it is you're pouring on, doing a bloom on, um, it will be so thick that it's going to crack on you and when it's drying and you don't want that. So you need to spread the paint around. So sometimes I spin clockwise, sometimes I spin counterclockwise. Um, and, and don't like, you know, Superman spin it either. You, you definitely don't want to do that. Do you see why I love this spinner so much? All right, and that is it. I love it like that. Now, if you want, before spinning, you can get yourself a little skewer with, you know, your little sharp tip here, and you can do designs, which I will show you probably when I do these bigger rounds. But for now, I am loving, look how pretty this is. See that? So pretty. Look at that. I love these colors. Now, I kind of wish there was a little more of the um, magenta-ish color, the permanent red violet. Now, I just use a knife to pick it up off the mat, but look how pretty now without dropping it. Look how pretty that looks. See? Super, well, super simple easy to do, at least for me, for now. Like, I mean, it, it did take a while, and I'm going to go put this on the other side of the table, I will show you guys a close-up of all of these at the end of the video. So that way you can see what it all looks like because you don't get the real pretty shimmer effect um, under my white um, lights here, my studio lights. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to clean this off. You don't want to leave it on the mat because the next time you spin, it's going to make a mess. So you wanna clean that off. All right. Um, next, I want to do, I'm gonna do another coaster. So I really liked that color palette. Um, I'm going to do now white. I'm gonna leave my purple one there for now and I will, see I still have it here. It's, it's my Lagostina little mini, <laughs> ladle. I need to take it back upstairs to the kitchen. All right. So I've got um, some other colors I'm going to be using here. So they're all in my little containers. Now these containers are from Loli Veffy. Now what you need to do though is if they've been sitting here, you know, sitting in the cups, it doesn't look that great here, does it? Because all the powder and the glitter has sunk to the bottom. So you must give all these a really good stir before you start using them. Get your popsicle stick into any grooves that may be at the bottom of this cup or any cup that you are using um, and make sure you stir these super, super duper well. Do you see now the difference after I've stirred it? So... Give me a minute. I'm going to stir all the rest of my colors and I will work on the next tile. So give me a minute. All right. So this one is my color to go white. It is called extra white. Okay. So that is what I'm using for this little tile and I'm using my kitchen ladle. All right, so there's my puddle. This is what I meant by the ladle was easier to use. See, it? can you see that? You probably can't, but anywho, I, I put my ladle in the tub and then I use the cups like that to hold it up for me. Okay, so the colors I'm using are Thalo Blue by Atelier. I haven't used these colors before. These are all new. Look how beautiful dark blue that is. Uh, then I'm using Sterling by TLP. And what I always do when I'm, you know, playing around off camera, this is greenish blue by Amsterdam. What I do is I actually record myself. 
I sit there, I listen to my music, and I just have my camera rolling because I talk into the camera and I tell myself what colors I'm using. So this one's called Mermaid by TLP. And the reason I do that, if you could always just have a pen and paper next to you and write it down, but your hands are always so messy that, you know, you're just going to make a mess on your pad of paper and your pen. But again, you do whatever you like. I just like to record. Um, but yeah, I record because I want to remember the colors I used because believe me, you should write down, this one's called Golden Peach by TLP. Um, and the last one was Mermaid. I think I told you guys that. Um, but yeah, you should really write your colors down because you could end up doing this really gorgeous piece and then you have no idea or don't remember what colors you used. And trust me, you're going to kick yourself for that because then you won't remember. All right, so I'm going to bring it back to the center a little bit. All right, and then I'm going to use my finger to make sure the whole part of the tile is covered. I'm going to get, now you would think you would use white cell activator because I'm using a white base, but personally, I don't like a white cell activator. I actually don't like it at all, so I, I prefer to use darker colors. All right, so there it is, and now I'm going to blow, skim it across. Okay, ooh, it's pretty. Wow, that uh, phthalo blue by Atelier is nice. So I'm going to give it a few minutes for this to pool. Now, this is what I was talking about. Do you see how there's a lot of black in the center? This is where I would get my straw. I'm gonna run upstairs to the kitchen and get a straw. Hold on. So I'm out of breath. I got a straw, okay? And so what I like to do is I just like to blow into the black spots, but in this case, leaving it for a couple of minutes, look at that, okay? So I can blow a little bit like that if I want, and then any cells underneath will come up. All right, so now I'm gonna spin her. Okay, and then what I can also do is if I want to take my skewer and just do a little squiggle circle design. And then that way I can make a design in the center if I wanna get rid of a lot of the black in there. Like it like that. Wow, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna spin the opposite. Now I don't wanna to spin too much cause I don't want to lose this pretty corner here. Okay, that's enough for me. I will lift it up. Oh, this is so pretty. And then if you want, you could always tilt it a little bit and center it if you want. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at that top corner. I'm trying to get the light. Like I said, at the end of this video, I will do a close up of all the pieces I did. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so. I shall, wow. Oh my gosh, look at the shimmer. Okay, let me put it away. All right, so I'm staying pretty clean. Oh, it's so pretty though. Oh no. Okay. Yes, yes, It. this is a waste of paint and no, you can't really clean it up and, and use it for anything else because it's got base paint, you know, pigment, cell activator in it. So it doesn't really work that way. All right, what do I want to do now? I'm going to, um, I don't have any more late. I've got black. I want to do black, but I want to do let me do this little guy first. So now I'm gonna move to, this is my um, eight inch round, okay? 
And I think I'm gonna go purple again, and I'm gonna play with some colors here. So, let me get my purple, which was majestic purple. Okay. Now, do you notice how I'm kind of going in a circle? Kind of like when you see pizza guys, you know, or pizza people putting the tomato sauce on a pizza. I'm kind of like spreading it out a bit, not pooling it all in the center. All right, so that'll go there. Now, I'm going to try and do somewhat of the same colors like I did before, but I really want the, um, I really wish I had more of a, quinacridone color I've got quinacridone magenta actually which is almost the same color as the permanent red violet if lighter actually yeah it's actually lighter you see that it's actually a lighter color but I'll try it let me try it I, I want to do that same color palette but with the, here's what I'm going to do since this is a bigger round I'm going to layer my colors so we're starting off with Dioxazine Purple Atelier, then Horizon TLP, okay, so circle, drizzle, whatever you want, okay, then I'm going to use Quinacridone Magenta by Atelier, okay, I think I'm going to add this to the top again after, just so that I can make sure I get this in this piece. Harvest Gold, TLP. Okay. And then Submarine, TLP. And then I'm going to put some more Quinacridome on top. Okay, let's see how this works out. So now, you know what, I'm gonna use um, Payne's Gray Cell Activator. So this is from Amsterdam, Payne's Gray. And I'm gonna use this one now. So let's put, you gotta put quite a bit on this one because you are working on a bigger piece and spread out. I should have done this before putting the cell activator down. Okay, and now I'm going to blow. Okay, gotta get my necklace in. Oh, I shouldn't touch my shirt. Anyways, wow, look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna let it sit for a few, like a minute or so, okay? So I can let the cells pull back in. But in the meantime, I can take my straw. Now, do you see that big chunk of black or Payne's gray in the center there? I want to try and get cells to pop out, okay? So what I do is I get my straw and I just blow down on it. I don't sh like blow across, I just blow down. Okay, and then we'll see. Sometimes things pop up, sometimes it doesn't, okay? In this case, I'm not seeing much of anything popping up. So this is where your skewer comes in super handy. So then I like to just do a swirly design and then that way it gets rid of a lot of the black in the center like this okay so there you go and then on a bigger piece like this i like to take my skewer and just do squiggles along the edge okay because when you spin it out and see how there's this big blob here i don't like that so what I'll do is I will do that. Do you see now how it's got a design to it? Same with this right here. You see how I don't like that? So I can't do this upside down. 
So you basically, now do you see the design there? Okay, and then I just do designs along the bottom because when you spin it out, those designs might be on the edge, right? All right, so let's spin. All right, and look how much, this is why spinning is important. In one little spin, look how much has come off the edge, okay? Now, if I spin this one more time, I'm, I'm gonna splatter myself. So I'm going to move this stuff a little to the side because I'm about to get splattered. But do you see now why I did those squiggles? So look, it's got a design now to it, right? Oh, that's pretty. Ah! <laughs> so one way to avoid splatter as well is to simply just pick up your piece, hold it, and um, just do this, okay? There, okay? And then I shall put this back, okay? If you really don't want to splatter everywhere because, you know, not everyone has the space to spin and make a big mess. Um, a lot of people use those doggy pools or, you know, put cardboard boxes up. I quite frankly don't have the time or the space for something like that. See, now it's not, do you notice it's not spraying everywhere? Okay, so give her a spin. Got a little splatter going, but that's okay. And then that's it. So you see how much more paint has come off the sides? You want to make it like, I mean, you don't want to over spin it, but just enough so that you can tell that your paint has flattened out. Oh, this is so pretty. Now, do you see why I did those squiggle lines with my skewer? Because it, it adds some sort of design to it, okay? So look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now, of course, don't forget this purple base background is going to dry a lot darker. Wow, that is pretty. Wait till you see the shimmer in this. Wow. Okay, I like that. I'm going to go put this away. Next up, I'm going to do two more pieces for you guys. All right, let me clean this off. Okay. And on my table, I have put down just some cheap dollar store plastic, plastic tablecloth so that when I'm done, I literally wrap up all four corners, toss it, and my table underneath with my Loli Veffy mats are squeaky clean all right so save yourself the hassle of cleaning up a lot of mess just by putting down some plastic plastic tablecloth from the dollar store that's it okay so now what do i want to do all right let's try this guy so i've got this is a this is an eight by eight okay this is an eight by eight and I'm going to use black. Okay, so I'm going to use black. So what I need is to wipe my ladle because I'm going to need it for black. And this is why if you had like multiple ladles, that's where that would come in handy. So that way now you're not sitting here wiping and cleaning off a ladle every time you want to change base colors because I tend to change base colors quite a bit when I'm painting all right okay nice and clean I've got my black and I have two color palettes I want to try so this is um tricorn black okay Okay. Try corn black. Now this should be interesting because I've never poured on this before and you can see how um, wide the uh, sides are. So I'm going to have to make sure 
I have enough paint that's going to go along the side to cover the whole side of this. Normally I tape the sides, um, but I had a few people say, oh, why don't you let it run off the sides? Because then the pretty design would be on the side too. And I said, okay, so I will do a few like that, starting with this one. All right, spread her out just a bit. So I'm going to try that blue color palette again. All right, so we've got Thalo Blue by Atelier. Okay. And I really like this. This is new. I just got it. Sterling by TLP. It's the Sterling. And then I have Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. And I think I'm going to leave out that peach color I did. Okay, then Mermaid by TLP. No, I lied. I'm going to add some purple, but I want a shimmer purple. Uh, okay, let's do this. Wait, what's this color? Nightfall. Okay, I'm going to do Constellation. There we go. So look how it looks before it gets mixed. You see that? It's because all the pouring medium is at the top. And then I'm going to mix it real quick. You gotta mix it super, super duper duper well, guys, because all the TLP pigment powder has settled at the bottom. Um, so putting these in squeeze bottles is not really recommended because it would be really hard to get the pigment off the bottom of the bottles by shaking. This needs a serious stir. Now you can see it. Do you see the difference? All right, so TLP Constellation. So these containers are um, much better for your paints, but for cell activator, oh, I by all means, the squeeze bottles are where it's at. Uh, and now we'll top it off with Mermaid by TLP. Oh wow, look at these colors. I'm gonna add a little more because this is a pretty color. All right, blue color palette, my favorite. Okay, now I'm going to spread this black paint around. In fact, if I can, kind of, get the sides wet, that might actually help. Cause like I said, I've never worked on such a big piece that had such a deep edge to it. All right. I'm going to add my, I'm gonna do Payne's Gray Cell Activator, which almost looks like black, but okay. So you see how much I put? <clears throat> All right, let's blow it out. Oh, my necklace. I gotta do something about my necklace. I gotta put it in my shirt. Sorry, shirt. I just got you dirty. All right. Wow, I love blue. Oh my gosh, I love blue. Now I'm gonna give that a minute to pull its way back into the center. But in the meantime, let me bring it up and show you how pretty that looks. All right, so I'm going to get my straw and blow some of these centers. and see if anything pops up. Like I said, sometimes it does work, sometimes it doesn't. Oh yeah, yep, yep, there's a few popping up. I'm gonna give it a minute. In the meantime, I'm going to play with my swirls here. So I'm going to do a swirl. That one's so dirty. Let's start with this one. And I like to do 
some swirls like so. See, it's all kind of on this side, so I'm going to have to really bring it back this way. And if you see any air bubbles, pop them with these little skewers, because if you don't, they will um, dry with a bubble in your painting. See, there's a really big one right here. So pop those. So important to pop those. All right. I'm going to just kind of shift it, try and bring it a little bit centered. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's uh, spin this out. Yeah, this one's going to make a mess because it's high profile. So I'm going to move it up here a bit and spin slowly. This is my worst nightmare. I love blooming, but this is such a nightmare for me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go around, this is a really high profile on the side. So I'm going to make sure all my side is covered here so that it helps the paint flow down better from when I'm spinning. There we go. Oh, missed a spot over here. Okay, so now all the sides are covered, so that's good. Now let's spin some more. Uh, not that this is going to help, Canela. That doesn't help very much. All right, let me spin this way. I want to spin harder, but I... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so pretty though. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I love it. And then, like I said, I could have and I forgot but just do some squiggles here in the center, which I should have done before I spun, but I wasn't thinking. That's okay, I can do it now. And then you can always just kinda do this so that you can try and avoid as much splatter as possible. Wow. Now, do you see all my edges, how they're all covered? I love this. Wow. Wow. Okay. One more spin. One more spin. Okay. Finito. Oh, my goodness. This is going to look so pretty. Okay. So, I use my knife to suction it up off the spinner. I gotta be careful with this one. I, I can't touch the sides. Normally I touch the sides because they're taped off, but oh my gosh, without dropping this, I gotta tilt it so I can show you guys. Look how pretty that is. Look at that. Oh, I'm loving this one. Wow, look at the sides too. Okay, I'm going to carefully go and put this on the other side. So it's dripping everywhere. All right, last one. Okay. All right, last one, and I've got some really cool colors. <clears throat> All right, let me mix those up. One second. All right, so this one I'm going to try and swipe. So this should be interesting because I, I, I've i swiped maybe once, and I didn't like it, but that's because I didn't have the proper swiping tools. I didn't have the proper... Um, 
palette knives. So going with my tricorn black. Now these cost um, here in Canada at Sherwin Williams. Um, I was just thinking, hold on. Um, I think they're $14.99, $14.79, something like that. Um, and then when they go on sale, they go on for either 25% or 30%. I got these ones off at 30% off, so they ended up being $10 and change. So that was a great deal. Now, I'm, I'm spreading this around because this is a swipe. It's different than when you're blowing because, and I may have put too much because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Um, when you're blowing, you want that puddle in the middle because you need enough paint to blow it out. But because I'm just swiping, um, you don't need that puddle in the middle. So I'm going to, I shouldn't have put so much. My bad. All right. All right. Okay, how am I going to swipe this? I'm going to use this one. Now, I'm assuming I need quite a bit on here. So instead of using my popsicle stick, I'm going to pour it out. So this is... Um, TLP Grenache. This is um, Pearl Blue by Amsterdam. Okay. Then I have TLP Syrah. Okay. And then TLP Sangria. All right, I hope this works because that is a lot of paint that I don't want to mess up. All right, so I'm going to get my Payne's Gray Cell Activator. And you just put some on here and then use your finger to spread it. You don't want to put too much. Okay, just enough to cover the base like so, I hope. And oh my gosh, here here goes nothing. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Now, I don't know if I did that well. I've never used a palette knife this big before. Um, it started off really well and I think I kind of mucked it up there at the back. Maybe I didn't have enough. So, oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna swipe again. Oh gosh, goodness gracious. Trial and error, my friends. Trial and error. Okay. Yeah, I didn't swipe this part really well, so I'm gonna go this way now. Oh gosh, don't mess it up, Canela. Okay, something happened in there, but now I just kinda don't know what kinda, I'm doing composition-wise here, I'm not really sure. And I don't know if I layered the colors right on top of each other, maybe I sh shouldn't have done that. I think they should have been side beside each other now that I think about it. I think I mucked that up. I think I did really muck that up. They should have been side by side. I don't remember what I did last time. Anyways, is what it is. It looks pretty though, but I just, I don't know what to do with it. Um... Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I might have to do this over again. I don't know what I'm doing. <gasps> oh my gosh. 
Yep, that did just happen, folks. That did just happen. She's a slipping because I've got, oh my gosh, that was so funny. Kind of funny, but not funny. Now it's, it's moving on me because I've got those resin drips on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to just stretch her out. Oh, but I want to spin it. Silly goose. Oh my gosh. Okay. The other pieces I did um, after I resined them, I peeled the tape off so that I could take the resin drips off the bottom. And I did not do that to this piece. Clearly, I forgot. So, and put fresh tape on the bottom. Okay, you know what? Maybe this ain't so bad. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to put some designs in this and see what happens. But I really need to give it a spin. I think I'm going to put um, some paper towel under it. Maybe that might help. Maybe a wad of this chunko paper towel. Oh my gosh, this is too funny. See, you guys are learning from my stupidity. <laughs> this might work. It might, I hope. Let's find out together. Okay, yes, this, this is going to work. This is going to work. Yes. Okay. Spinner. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that worked. See, I'm so smart. <laughs> okay. Wow, I actually like this now. Look what's going on on the table here. Look at this. Wow. Okay. Trying to think if I want to swipe anything else on this. Okay, so I'm really liking it. What I will do next time, though, is um, instead of layering all the colors on top of each other, um, they should have been um, side by side. Okay, that's it. Let me pick it up off this mess. All right, the, the paper towel really, really helped. Oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I love it. Look at that. Okay, yeah. So next time, because I did lose a lot of the colors. I did lose. I'm going to, I want to try this again now. Do I have any more rounds? Oh, I do. I have another one. Okay, I'm going one more. I'm going again. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Um, <laughs> this is like a panic attack for me, you know that? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm cleaning the side because when I spin, it's going to go everywhere. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Wonder if I could just use the same one. Oh, maybe not. They're just like drenched. Okay. There we go. One more, guys. I gotta I gotta redeem myself. I gotta do that again. Alright. Okay. Let's try this again. So black base. And I don't need as much this time because again, I'm swiping. Okay. Let me, but I will tell you, resining these boards is like the greatest thing because then there's no flaws on the board and you don't, um, there's no risk of it warping. Not just these boards, any wood boards, whether they're birch boards, any boards, cause you, you gotta gesso them and just make sure that they don't warp. Okay. All right. I'm going to do, I'm going to mix up the colors a little bit here. I think 
Oh, I'm going to swipe with blues. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay, so let's do um, Phthalo Blue by Atelier. Okay. Oh, I'm going to do the silver. So this is Sterling by TLP. Okay, so I went beside the blue a little bit this time. Um, new color, King of Pain. This is a really pretty color. King of Pain, TLP. Okay, I'm going to go beside the silver, I guess. Okay. Um, let's do Constellation again. No, I'm running out of that. I don't have enough. Mm, all right, let's do some greenish blue. This one, I'm going to go across all over it. Greenish blue by Amsterdam. There, how's that? And topping it off, Mermaid by TLP. And I think I'll go on this side. And then like, like that. Because this is a really pretty color. And you know what? Just for the fun of it, I'm going to put some pearl blue by Amsterdam on top. Okay, this should hopefully work out better. I'm going to pop all these air bubbles. And this is the last piece I'm doing because this is probably like an hour long video at this point. All right. This is a great palette knife. I love the shape of it. All right, so let me, oh, let me do that in camera view so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm putting a little more than I did last time because maybe I just didn't have enough. Yeah, I think this is better. Okay. Oh my gosh. Don't screw this up, Canela. Oh, wow. Okay, that was way better. Way better. Wow. Okay, I'm loving that. So clearly you should invest in bigger palette knives because wowie, wowie, does that make a difference? Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I've seen Shelly do some scooping and stuff like that. I don't know how she scoops and does all that. I should pay more attention to the videos. Um... Let's see, what should I scoop with? What does she scoop with? I don't know. Anywho, let me just do some. Yeah, that's pretty. So what I mean by Shelly's got her course, the Shelly art course, where she teaches you guys everything. And I, I'll put that information in the description below um, if you want to ever take the course because the knowledge and information she shares is insane. And so um, you can take the course and get a discount and I'll have that discount information in the description below. All right, let's spin and see what happens. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. Okay, I'm gonna tilt a little. Let's tilt a little. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. It's almost like a wave. I need to spin a bit more though. I need to spin a bit more. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh wow, that's so pretty. Okay, I need to center this and spin it just a bit more. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. This is like, honest to God, my worst nightmare. I'm having so much fun doing this, but this is like my worst nightmare, for real. 
That's not even a hard enough spin to do anything at this point. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, any air bubbles, you must pop. I'm going to leave this like this. Oh my gosh. This is so much fun. Oh my gosh, the shimmer. Okay, I, I know I'm probably sound really annoying right now, but oh my goodness, you guys. Look at that. Okay, so having a large palette knife really is the, the like what helps you do. If you had seen my video 504 where I did like a palette knife um, swipe, it was a teeny tiny palette knife and it looked like garbage and I ended up scraping it. But a big palette knife is obviously where it's at. <laughs> so look at that. All right, let me put this aside. All right, let me clean myself up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, it's been about 20-ish minutes and I am all cleaned up. So, you know, it's it's actually not that bad, you know, once you get the hang of it, but everything has been cleaned. My um, spinner is perfectly clean. My mat is clean again. Um, yeah, so super happy about that. Um, so I really hope... Um, you guys, wow, that was loud. <laughs> I really hope you guys had fun watching this video um, along with me. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer um, whatever I can. Now, just remember, I'm still learning here um, and I'm, I may not have all the answers for you, but this is where the Shelly Facebook group comes in handy. That's, of course, if you've paid for the course, you get to be part of this amazing Shelly um, art community on Facebook where there's people all around the world. So where you have questions, everything and anything will be answered in that Facebook group, which is such a wealth of knowledge. Um, as I mentioned, all that info with the link, if you want to take the course and a, and a um, discount is listed in the description below. Uh, I will show you guys the wet results um, after I finish this, but I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you learned a few things. Um, I'm still working on it. I'm still learning myself. As you could tell from that first swipe, I, I didn't do it right, but heck, it turned out pretty in the end. Um, and yeah, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. And don't be afraid to try it. Yes, it seems hard. Yes, there's a lot of ingredients, but... Once you have all the ratios down and you follow my recipe from video 504, that's not going to be an issue for you anymore. The hardest part is probably the blowing part. But again, as I mentioned, you can use, you know, you can try using this, which I know I didn't use it in today's video because I actually prefer not to use it. I actually do prefer blowing with my mouth, but you could easily do some really cool swipes that don't require any blowing at all. So, um, yeah, and like I mentioned, um, there's so many to choose from. I think I'm going to try this one next because this one's so wide. But, um, but yeah, um, head on over to the fluidartco.website.website. Go to the Fluid Art Co. website. That is where you'll find these mats, the, the palette knives, um, you know, all the products you need, TLPs, Atelier, now they have Amsterdam paints. They have all kinds of stuff on the website. So head on over to their website and um, buy the things you need. Um, and I will try my best to remember to put this spinner um, on my Amazon uh, shops. So that is it for me for now. I had a lot of fun doing that. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching it. Um, I will show you guys the wet results under proper lighting. So let's get to that. Until next time, guys, um, let me know in the comments below. What did you like? What didn't you like? What colors did you love? What didn't you love? Let me know things in the comments below. If you are new watching, subscribe to my channel. Um, I would appreciate that if you hit that red subscription button and follow along on my painting journey. So that is it for me for now. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.